meet what you think. What is up guys? In today's video we're going to be talking about former Oklahoma State star Juwan Evans and why he struggled to make it in the NBA. If you love college basketball, make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you love these type of videos, check out my playlist in the description below. Now let's get started with today's video. Jawan Evans was born and raised in Greenville, South Carolina. Growing up in a state where football was more popular than basketball, it's a bit of a surprise that he chose to star in basketball. Once he got to play for Southside High School, his career really took off. After leading his school to the state championship game, he decided to transfer to a school where he could play better competition. After transferring to Legacy Charter School, he got to play better competition, but his mother's job would force the family to move and him to change schools once again. The family moved from South Carolina to Dallas, Texas, where Juwan would attend Kimball High School. After leading him to a state title and dominating on the AAU circuit, Evans became a high caliber prospect. According to 24-7 Sports, Juwan was a high four-star recruit, a McDonald's All-American, and the number 27 overall player in the class of 2016. When it came time to pick a school, Juwan was down to Illinois, USC, and Oklahoma State. He ended up committing to Oklahoma State because of his relationship with Coach Travis Ford and the style the team plays with. Juwan was arguably the best player to commit to Oklahoma State since the Marcus Smart era. Oklahoma State was in their eighth season under head coach Travis Ford, who is now the head coach of St. Louis. They were coming off an NCAA tournament appearance, but they lost most of their talent from the previous year. They still returned Phil Forte, Jeffrey Carroll, and Tavoria Shine, but weren't expected to be a tournament team. They opened up the season 5-1 with a loss to George Mason, but Jawan had not yet shown what he was capable of. They ended up losing three of their next six games to finish their non-conference record at 8-4. To this point, Jawan was a mixed bag. One night he would lead the team in scoring, the next he would disappear. Phil Forte was the team's most consistent player, and they would need everyone to play well if they wanted any chance of making the tournament. They started out 1-2 in the Big 12 before the biggest game of the year. It was against Buddy Hill's number 2 Oklahoma Sooners. Jawan Evans came out on fire and showed the nation how talented he was with a 42-point performance, and Oklahoma State was one missed buzzer beater away from upsetting them. Surprisingly, a few games later, they upset number 3 Kansas, but it was a lost season overall. Evans would only go on to play in four more games before he went down with a shoulder injury that would silence him for the rest of the season. Oklahoma State would go on to finish the season 12 and 20 after a first round exit in the Big 12 tournament. Juwan averaged 12.9 points, 4.4 rebounds, and 4.9 assists while shooting 47% from the field and being named the Big 12 Newcomer of the Year. Following the season, Oklahoma State fired Travis Ford and hired Stephen F. Austin head coach Brad Underwood to become the new leading man of the program. The Cowboys returned Evans, Jeffrey Carroll, Phil Forte, and Leighton Hammonds, and there are rumblings that Oklahoma State could be a tournament team in 2017. With a new head coach and a new culture, the team was ready for a bounce back season. The Cowboys opened up the season with a win over Campbell, in large part due to Juwan's 34 point outing. They won five of their next six games, with their only loss coming to North Carolina, and two more 30 plus point performances from Evans. They finished 4 1 in non conference play to attain a 10 2 record going into Big 12 play. Disaster struck the team and they managed to start 0-6 in conference play and the team began to settle into panic mode. Juwan took it upon himself to dig his team out of the slump and save their season. They got really hot and won 10 of their next 11 games with big wins over West Virginia, Kansas State, and Oklahoma. During that stretch, Juwan scored double figures in every game and became the leader of the team. They ended up losing their final two conference games to fall to a 9-9 record, but they still had a 20-11 overall record going into the Big 12 tournament. They lost to Iowa State in the first round, but their winning streak would be enough to get them into the big dance with a 20-12 record. They became the number 10 seed and were set to play the number 7 seed Michigan Wolverines. Led by DJ Wilson, Michigan and Oklahoma State went down to the wire, but because of some late free throws, Michigan took a 4 point lead. Even though they were going to lose, Jawan went out in style with a near half court shot at the buzzer. After the season, Evans was named to the All-Big 12 first team and was named a third-team All-American by some sources. On the year, Jawan averaged 19.2 points, 6.4 assists, and close to 2 steals a game while shooting 44% from the field. After the season, Jawan decided it was best for his future to declare for the 2017 NBA Draft. Scouts knew Evans was a lethal scorer, could pass the ball well, and was an overall smart player, but they were worried about his height lack of elite level explosiveness, and ability to finish at the rim. Despite those concerns, most scouts had him as a late first round pick, with some having him in the late teens. They ended up being wrong as he fell all the way to the 39th pick, 
by the Philadelphia 76ers. Just a few days later, he was traded to the Los Angeles Clippers in exchange for cash. For his rookie year, Juwan averaged 16 minutes a night, 4.8 points, 2 assists, and 2 rebounds, while also making 4 starts along the way and scoring a career-high 15 points against the Houston Rockets. After being waived by the Clippers, he's picked up by the Northern Arizona Suns and eventually signed a two-way deal with the Suns and he actually got to play a bit. He was part of the team's second unit where he played 9 minutes a game for 7 games. He was eventually waived by the Suns but was picked up by the Oklahoma City Thunder for the remainder of the year. That wasn't in the cards for him either as he was cut by them in the summer and currently he plays for the Raptors 905, the G League affiliate of the Toronto Raptors. He can't say he didn't get an opportunity as he was a second round pick and got a few chances to start, but he failed to show the organization he was worth keeping. He wasn't able to show any other NBA teams he had potential, which is why he's in the G League today. Sadly, I think his size is a big reason why he has failed, but he should have the skills to overcome that. What do you guys think? Will Juwan Evans make it in the NBA, or is he going to be a G League player forever? Let me know in the comment section below, and if you liked today's video, make sure to hit that like button and check out all my other videos either on the screen or in the description below.